I'm not sure if there are any videos I made where I showed you guys this land right here. This was a vacant, uh, vacant lot, but look, they are now putting some apartments. Looks like we are out of empties. They are starting to bring some down. I'm still going to have to go to to the pilot to get some to, to fill up my tank because I need some but these windows right there they are really so nasty so I just want to get those clean uh, we just have like here some water that we can use so I'm just gonna use that and then I'll be on my way that right there looks like glass maybe somebody had an accident here maybe they crashed something believe it or not i know this may sound crazy but when i was over the road uh, i used to love driving in the rain um <laughs> when i'm out there on the highway and i have my cup of tea very hot tea and i'm on the highway i'm not in congestion i love driving in the rain the only reason i don't like driving in the rain here in the city is because of congestion and how drivers drive but if i could be over the road and i have my flask full of hot tea and i'm just going down the road taking my my time down the highway i love driving in the rain my appointment is supposed to be at 1500 right now is past 1500 and i'm almost getting to uh to the gate still delayed in the rail i'm here this is my first time to this customer let's go check him So they are done for today. They are not taking any more loads. Uh, the time right now is 15.26. Because of that rail delay, I couldn't make it here by 3 o'clock. So this is going to have to be rescheduled for tomorrow. They already emailed their country. So I guess I'm just going to take this back to the yard. So do you guys remember how all that place was full of empties? They are starting to bring them down. One of these days in the future, I'll show you all this place empty. but I need to go check in to make sure my pre-plan is still good on me they pre-planned me for too long but I just want to confirm hey what's up Hi. I just want to confirm that uh, the second pre-plan is still on me so let's see <laughs> I 
need an empty but that's not my worry because they are putting down empties now so good for me Alright, so I'm here and my assignment is to cross down this chassis right here back to the to the yard, our yard in Haslet. So you remember how I told you about cross towns, right? So in this case, it's not a load, it's a chassis. We also do cross towns when it comes to empties and chassis. So right now, they want me to take this chassis right here to our yard because it needs to be repaired and i'm guessing this is what needs to be done you see how this place is broken look at it it's all bent so i'm thinking they want maybe this thing to be straightened out and then welded now we have this shop right here this is a jb hand shop this one right here but for some reason i guess they can't be able to fix that so it needs to go to Haslet to be fixed I'm gonna check it out and then I'll be out of here I'm not sure if they have anything else for me but right now I'm just gonna go let uh, the shop know that I brought this this chassis right here so they can put it in the system to get it repaired Right now the time is 23, 27. I'm gonna pick up a load out of the rail, take it to Canagra in Fort Worth, and I will call it a night. <music> just dropped off my load here at Canagra. Now I'm just gonna go back to the yard. They don't have any empties here, so I'm gonna bob tail. I told you that one of the things that I used to love to do was drive in the rain like when I was driving over the road I enjoyed driving in the rain but I want to put that into perspective 
I've been driving trucks for a decade, over a decade. Actually, when I even just say a decade, it makes it sound like it's really a long time. And yes, 10 years is really a long time. I remember when I first started out, when I was still really just learning how to drive a truck, I would see uh, some of these other trucks come and pass me by at a high speed. And some of them, the way they would change lanes. And I would envy those drivers and say, wow, maybe one day I'm going to be as experienced as uh, they are. And I'm going to drive the trucks just like they drive the trucks. But one thing I've come to realize is just because somebody drives fast or they know how to maneuver in and out of the lanes fast, doesn't necessarily mean they are good drivers. One of the things that I want to encourage you as you come into the industry is um, to respect the truck. For all the 10 years I've been driving, one thing that I have never lost um, is the respect for the truck. Uh, one of the things I really appreciate is God's grace, God's protection, um, God's mercy as we drive on the road. Because remember, for us as truck drivers, these are really um, big vehicles that we are handling. They are tall, they are long, they are heavy. They are not like the small vehicles. And then it's also our job. We are always on the road. We are on, uh, on the road for hours at a time. To me, it's not just because I am skilled. It's not just because I am a good driver. Because there are many people that have lost their lives just because they've probably been at the wrong place at the wrong time. And it hasn't been their fault, but because of somebody's a mistake, they've lost their lives or they've uh, been damaged and deformed in one way or another. So I'm always grateful to God for his protection. But the other thing that I believe helps me out is my respect for that truck. And so my encouragement to those of you that are just coming into into the industry is that don't let people that seem to be experienced and you'll seeing them drive fast and do things that they shouldn't probably be doing intimidate in, don't let that intimidate you and make you think that they know how to drive trucks. The reason why I bring that up is because I know I mentioned that I love driving in the rain. But also at the same time, when I drive in the rain, when the weather is not the conducive weather, that is when I'm even more scared of that truck. Because I know that uh, just one thing could make everything go wrong. So I'm always extra careful because I know that brakes are not working as they would during the, uh, the dry weather. I know that somebody could make a slight mistake and uh, I could easily lose control. So I'm very, very extra careful. And it's amazing when I see other truck drivers who are supposed to be professional drivers really pass me by at high speeds and uh, and get in and out of lanes and maybe tailgate during wet weather. I'm always surprised at drivers that do that. To me, um, it doesn't mean that they are experienced or they know what they are doing. Uh, it just means that they have forgotten what kind of vehicle they are operating. So my encouragement to you is that um, be respectful of that vehicle. Never get to the point where you feel like or you think like you are always in control or that you have it all down. And um, I say that not to say that you shouldn't be in control. Um, you need to be in control always to feel that confidence that you are in control. But again, on the other side of the coin, you always want to be um, and to have that it's a good fear. I, I think I should call it respect for the vehicle, for the uh, the kind of vehicle that you are driving. So I just wanted really to point out that because I know when I was starting out, I felt intimidated by all these drivers who seem to be experienced and they know it all. But after driving for 10 years, I still have that fear and that respect for the vehicle in that when I see other drivers just drive anyhow, I'm always surprised. So I just want to encourage you to always have that at the back of your of your mind that um, that vehicle 
that you are driving just a split second and things could really go wrong not just for you but also for other people that are around you i'll catch you in the next one bye bye